If you're still handling your API responses like this, please stop. There's a much better way to do this. But first, let's highlight what's wrong in here. So we're defining a type which has a status and a timestamp and every single response message will have to have those two fields inside of it. It also has the optional message or data type. The message will be an error message present with every error response and the data type will be present on every successful message. So then when we call the API, we have to do a type guard to first check if the message has been successful and also whether the data field is actually present in order for TypeScript to know that we have the data field on our type so we can then print it out as usual. And if not, then check got the message inside the response so that TypeScript can again figure out that we've got the message field inside and print out the result. The issue here is that we have to check whether the data and the message field is actually present and TypeScript cannot figure it out on its own for us. So what's a better way to do this? To rewrite this code in a better way, we'll first start out by defining our successful message type. This type is going to take a generic of type T and the data field is gonna be that generic. So as you can see, all the fields right now are required in a successful message and the data is no longer an optional field because we know that the data is always gonna be present with a successful response. So now let's have a look at the error response. Error response is very similar to the successful response message. However, it doesn't have the data field and instead it contains the message. But again, the message is a property that is required by TypeScript. So now when we define our API response, it will take the T as a generic type for the data and we'll use the union type of either having a successful response or an error response and this way it's going to be much easier later down the line to figure out which type we're actually working. Let's do our function call and the first thing that we do is we grab the API response from our endpoint and turn it into JSON. Then TypeScript is going to try and figure out the type and at the moment it's still that union type either successful response or error response. But now when we do our type guard instead of having to check for the extra field, whether it's present, the data field, we can just say json.status and TypeScript instantly knows that the data field must be present on that object because it's the successful response message. So now when we look at the type of this API response, we can see that it is in fact the successful response type with the number field inside of it. And we no longer have to have the extra type card like we did before checking for the message field because TypeScript knows that the message field has to be present on this object because if it's not a successful message, it must be the error response instead. So we can just use an else statement in. Hope you learned something new and I'll see you in the next one.